Now, as you know, I've dedicated my life to the training of dragons. And where I live, let me tell you, there are a lot of dragons to be trained. There are those who say there are good dragons and bad dragons. To me, a bad dragon is just one that hasn't been trained. Remember what they said about the Night Fury? Uh-huh. Every one of our adventures has led to the discovery of an amazing new dragon. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Sometimes you need a dragon's help. This can prove incredibly difficult, especially if that dragon has no intention of being helpful. This is how we first met the Scaldron. Our dragons were sick from eating the poisonous blue oleander flower. The only cure? The venom of the dangerous Scaldron. We searched all night, way out at sea, for this elusive title class dragon. The Book of Dragons said it was huge and unpredictable. Yep, it was as advertised. This massive underwater dwelling dragon is a speedy and stealthy swimmer. He can put a scare into even the hardiest of Vikings. I may need to change my skivvies again. The Scaldron can fill itself up with water, boil it in its giant cauldron-like stomach, and blast it at will. Trust me, you don't want to be anywhere near a Scaldron when it fires. It's said that one blast can melt the flesh of any animal it encounters. And that's where things get tricky. We needed his mouth open to get the venom, but we weren't going home without it. Thankfully, Mildew was happy to transport it home for us. Get this poison out of me! Oh, we will. I'm grateful for that Scaldron Venom. It helped make our sick dragons feel better. But I can't say I'm looking forward to coming across a Scaldron again anytime soon. Tracking and uncovering a new dragon is truly an amazing adventure. Oh, settle down, big fella. Best part is, there are so many more undiscovered dragons out there. And each new dragon will need to be trained. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. 